Hi and welcome to the travel part 3. Now as you can see uh, on the Premier League table to the right, uh, we're nowhere near the top 10. So uh, yeah, we suck. Anyway, we have now reached the month of October, uh, my favorite month. So I hope good things happen in this month. So uh, let's jump to the next event. Alright, the next event is the North London Derby against Tottenham Hotspur and the objective is to at least get a draw. And if I read this correctly, um, Emmanuel Adebayo is suspended. So we're gonna have to use Robin Van Persie. I mean, personally, I do like Van Persie more than Adebayo. So, uh, yeah, I think I think we're good on that. Why won't it let me start a kickoff? I won't concede that those two goals. This was always going to be a, a long night with a, a key player suspended, confidence low, but they could hardly have made a worse start. They barely look interested here. Because I've been two down midway through the first half would suggest that spirit in the camp is low. That's what's been suggested in the press. And from what I'm seeing, I think they're right. And I don't know if you can hear the fans' reaction to this performance. They don't think they're getting value for money here, and they're letting the players know about it in no uncertain terms. And now Youngberg. Cross. Got to that well. Has a go. Oh, what a goal! That's a really clever finish. Now, if they can just get another goal, they'll be on terms. Had to make sure that that was his. Referee brings the first half to an end. It's 2-1. Clearly fancied his chances. He was trying to adjust his body shape there. I think he was never really balanced. This is Younger. And what's the referee given here? Penalty. Thought so. Well, if they concede another one from the spot, I can't see how they're going to get back into this game. One very critical kick of the football. What a goal! What a brilliant finish. It's often said that you're at your most vulnerable immediately after scoring. I'm sure the manager's pointing that out to them right now. They do like to move the ball around when they can. Shooting chance here. This team knocked it about in this fashion. They are a joy to watch. Here's Key. Tried his luck. It wasn't easy there. The ball was upon him before he knew it. No time, really. Putting in on goal. Just got a glove on it. Good header. Gilberto. You can't ask for more than that. That is a marvellous result. One they can be proud of. Well, the difference between these two teams was in the last third. This team created so many chances and they took them ruthlessly. It's always nice to get one over your rivals. And um, yeah, it seems we started the month of October with a win. So let's hope for more. Right, um, the next match is uh, against Manchester United. Nah, oh, man, I'm going to hate this. Right, so we have to try to win the match, have possession uh, 55% or greater, passing 60% or greater. Oof, okay, um, oh man, I really hate this. Well, these are the nights when a manager finds out about his players. This is always a, a difficult place to come because of the rivalry, but the level of noise here is higher than ever following the superb start that their team have made to the season. Yep, not ideal, Clive, going into a game of this magnitude without your star striker. You really could have done with everybody at your disposal, but they've coped before and they've got to do it again here. Kick-off time then, much uh, joy and pain ahead for somebody. He's in a good position for a cross, He's got it into the area, off the post, a oh, great finish! He's lethal in the six-yard box, he's not going to miss there. He's a relieved man, I was beginning to wonder if he'd ever score. Alex 
Alexander Kleb. It's in the net. What on earth is that goalkeeper up to? Someone sought him out. That's a two goals for him now. He's just so difficult to keep quiet. Robin Van Persie, that's a goal! Oh, it's a great goal, goalkeeper, absolutely no chance. Not when they're placed right up in the corner. What a finish! What a finish! Brings it down. Scoreline at half-time, a resounding 3-0. Danger! That's a penalty, no doubt in the referee's mind. Well, you work so hard to get yourself in a good situation in the game and then you do something stupid and concede a penalty. He's not the sort of player who's frightened of anything. Smartly taken! Tough for the keepers when they're so low to the ground. Gilberto. Robin Van Persie. What a goal! Time and time again he finds the back of the net. They're really enjoying themselves out there now. They will be absolutely delighted with that win here today. Such a difficult day, but their confidence is building by the day as they close the gap on those above them now. Clive, if you can beat teams around you, it really does give you a lot of confidence. And you know what? This victory is all the more sweeter because it's against one of their nearest rivals. That was really painful for me, but it had to be done. Anyway, we beat the, uh, the league leaders, so that must mean that we are title contenders as well. So, um, yeah, you know, the title race starts here. We are going to jump the next event, which is a match against West Ham. Yeah, this is what I hate about this game mode. I mean, we've won two games in a row and all of a sudden, you know, it decided to bring us back down to earth with a 2-1 with a loss against West Ham. Right, so the next match is against Ajax in the Champions League and... Um, the chairman wants us to use the 5-4-1 formation. Now, personally, I'm not a fan of this formation. I hate it. Uh, this is going to be tough. Okay, so this is the lineup that I will be using in this match. You know, to accommodate the 5-4-1 formation. Well, this is the game that most people believe will decide this Champions League group. It's the hardest task that they have faced so far. And I think the manager would gladly take a point and return home if you offered him one now. Clive, if the visitors get anything here today, that is a fantastic result. It really is. Kick off time. Nobody needs to remind us of the importance of this match, but what kind of a match will it turn out to be? In space to cross. Didn't hold it. Half time arrives with the scores level at 0 0. And on with the head. Gilberto Silva. Shooting chance. Oh, what a goal! Four will be furious. They would have loved to have kept a clean sheet here today. Well, they've had to wait for that first goal, but whatever was said to them at half time seems to have had an effect. Now, Henri, and he's got a real chance here if he can get past this defender. It's a free kick, and 
the referee is going to take out a card, is he? And the referee ushers him away. He's sent off. He made no attempt to win the ball there. Not the best time to get a red card drive. That could be costly now. He's going to try it. Oh, so close. The ball rattling the crossbar. Shooting chance here. That's a good stop. He couldn't score. Well, this team just get better and better as this game goes on. That's another good goal. This is turning into a rather one-sided game. That ball was anybody's for a moment, but not for long. Any Champions League victory is a good victory. Another three points towards their hopes of Champions League glory. You've got to earn them at this level. I'll tell you what, you'd love to be a striker in this team. You know you'll get chances, and when you look back, you see a back four that just doesn't give anything away. I don't know how many times we hit the post in that game, but we somehow managed to slot in two goals. So that's now three wins in this month. Uh, maybe things aren't so bleak after all. The next match is again Bolton Wanderers and there's a very interesting objective here. We have to try to stop Nicholas Anelka from scoring a goal. to the grind of the league here today and in I know this is a game that you've been looking forward to oh I have for some time Clyde because these two teams are very different but I tell you what the home team is gonna have to be well prepared today because the visitors do get stuck in so this is going to be very fiercely contested time then much uh, joy and pain ahead for somebody I don't know if you can hear the fans reactions to this performance they don't think they're getting value for money here and they're letting the players know about it in no uncertain terms when he tried to cross it oh what a finish that is well he's bamboozled the goalkeeper there Clyde he really didn't know where that was going to go what a superb finish he really Finishing in style. Jungberg into the box. He's made the ball his. The nearest of touches did the trick. Good finish. Straight into the bottom corner. What a finish. What a great finish that is. Look, tucked right in the corner. You cannot point the finger at the goalie there. He's got no chance with that. Once he got into position, you knew that he was going to get up and score. Looking to create something. He only has the... It's there! Oh, he's picked his spot beautifully. He was determined to get a goal. Certainly wasn't about to stop trying. Good pass, isn't it? He's given it. It's a penalty. Didn't think twice about it. Well, you work so hard to get yourself in a good situation in the game and then you do something stupid and concede a penalty. He's not the sort of player who shows his nerves. Oh, yes! Good penalty. Keep it low and the goal is in struggle. Sleep. He's won the ball back. He's having a go. Touched away by the keeper. I've had one or two problems from corners in this match. Oh, good goal! Smacked into the top corner. What was he thinking about there? He didn't know where he was in the goals. You practice all you like. The corner's got to be of that quality if you're going to score. That's what they wanted. If you'd offer the manager a win at kickoff time, he have taken it, no questions asked. It's all about results. This team are giving themselves a chance to win football matches by being so solid at the back. That was a fantastic win. I lost count how many goals Thierry Henry has scored, but he is on fire at the moment. This headline says that 
Lawson is under pressure from Arsenal fans. But um, we seem to be doing okay this much, so I don't know what he's talking about. And as you can see, the Premier League table to my right here, um, we're not even in the top 10, which is unusual. Also, um, Fabregas got injured in the last match, so he won't be available in the next match. Next match against Reading FC. The objective is to get 10 corners or more and score 3 goals. Okay. Well, I have to say they've not made the best of starts here. I don't know what it is about them this season, Andy. They just look a little out of sorts to me. Yeah, they haven't got going, Clive. And I tell you what, the manager's taking some stick from the fans around me right now. Of course, he has players out of the lineup, but his team, they just haven't got going yet. And this opposition, they're second bottom. They shouldn't be posing much of a threat here. Just hit a good cross. Oh, yes, it's there! Oh, that back four will be furious. They would have loved to have kept a clean sheet here today. So they're in front. Can they stay there? They will do all they can. Clip. Adabayo scores. Time and time again, he finds the back of the net. They caught them with their defenses down. Too many men thrown forward in attack. Nobody back minding the shot. Now Henri, Henri, pounded it away. The final whistle confirms the victory, never mind the margin. All they wanted today was a win. Anyway, anyhow, anything else is a bonus. Good victory and what a morale boosting victory for the team. You know, when you keep clean sheets, the confidence really grows. We didn't get the three goals, we didn't get 10 or more corners, but we got the win, which is the most important thing. Right, so we've reached the month of November now, and um, yeah, we, we had a really good October, I think. So uh, we need to keep that up if we are to win the treble. Right, I'm going to end the video here. So... Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I had a good time recording this. And um, I'll see you in the next part. Bye-bye.